kidneys are intimately involved in the control of your blood pressure. There's a neurologic feedback loop uh, between the brain and the kidneys, and it's that feedback loop that can get out of whack. It's part of the sympathetic nervous system, the stuff that we don't have voluntary con control over. And that in turn also can raise your blood pressure. Nature has given us a way of getting at those nerves non-surgically through a procedure, which is called renal, renal denervation. What happens is those nerves run along the aorta and then they run along the branch vessels to the kidneys. When that feedback loop is out of control, those nerves in effect are working too well. You don't need all of them. What renal denervation is, is for lack of a better word, burning out those nerves. The idea is actually to deliver that energy circumferentially around the artery to get the bulk of the nerves. It's done from the leg, although devices are now going to help us do it from the wrist as well. The recovery is like with any other antigraphic procedure, just nothing strenuous for a couple days, so you don't have any bleeding at the puncture site, you know. So the first step is to determine that patients are being compliant with their medications, that they're doing all the lifestyle changes, and their blood pressure is still high. It's going to be blood pressures, you know, 150, 160 and higher. Second step is to rule out any secondary causes of hypertension like the thyroid or the adrenal glands or renal artery stenosis or blockage in the kidneys. And if you ruled out all those other things, then they become a candidate for renal denervation.